Superman. See the gap in the middle? Mm -hmm. All of these are going to be the same. Oh. Look at you. And you the others. Smart. You do it on the other side too? No. No. We'll have a, Get the a mark. Bearing back out of there. Wait a minute. Every other one. Yeah. It's bad if you lost me already. So I don't do it on the opposite. No. Gap so right there. Uh, -huh. uh nothing yeah. yet. We'll kind of space yeah, them out yet. to try to I'm even that gap everywhere, but they all kind of Yeah, there's a lot of glue. So, you know, but this I, I just spin it with my hand. It's a bad thing. If you put, if you look really close at the stator, oh, okay. you'll see a little notch on the inside right here. Mm -hmm. A little keyway. A little yeah. keyway, exactly. Line up your extra stators. Line up the keyways, and then they'll they'll hold right together. So you take your stator off. You put that both of the yeah. both of the extra ones on the same side, and then yeah, on the same side. Point. Here's the post for the instead of a back plate. I I mount my stator onto my onto the post at this point and turn. Okay. Uh, and, and wind with it on the post because then it serves to hold it together. Mm -hmm. But this kit has a back plate. You can't wind with the stator on the back plate because it's in the way. So what I use is a pencil. As long as it... Take an insulator you, and you slide figure, it up. I mean... It, okay, perfect. These are spinning centrifugal so forces. So it fits over. It Take another stator, another from. insulator. So I mean, slide it over on the top. And you'd have to move that whole group. Yeah. Okay, so it's not, so it, it's not going anywhere. It's it's more of a there. And you know, now you have insulators you on both sides. So I'll get a couple turns on here. Pull them kind of tight, but not so tight that you stretch the wire. So when I come up here, that's three turns. Keep your hand gripped. Remote wire is just all loosey goosey. Hold it tight. Does that matter? You want to try and get it as tight as you can. Okay. How many turns is that? Can you see it on the camera? I can't count from here. Okay. Looks like. You can always count with one, two, three, four, five, six. Count the back side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six turns on the first layer. Okay. So I'm going to start my second layer. That's seven. Four. Now this one start runs out of room Eight. after. So you're just Five coming back turns. down again. Nine. Ten. That first tooth is is wound. There's the back side. That's that's that'll be the front side of the motor. A little screwdriver. To, you can use the screwdriver like this. To push right to keep them everything together to get it compacted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll do that on the first row. So I'm going to skip these two teeth. And I'm going to go all the way over to here. This is where my next wind is going to start right here, and it's going to still go this direction, clockwise. You can see that real well. So you don't, then, you don't want to do what? Uh, the, and then start the winding the next phase. So how many turns do I want with 22 gauge? You want eight turns. Are you winding seven or eight for the high-speed motors? Just eight. Take a look at that. That looks like I'm in the way of the next time I want to wind the tooth next door. If, if I... And then there's eight, nine. I'm probably probably having a hard time focusing because I move it up and down. Ten. There's ten turns. Okay. 
Okay. Then you do the same thing on this one. Skip two teeth. And jump down. I'm just going to go ahead and wind this. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm going to take uh, scissors or these. Put these these tags, these ends, kind of out of the way. Then you'll see there's one phase wound. Oops! What happens if I strip? 